to continue. <coughs> this is a view of the lodge from ostensibly my place, the coach house, my Christian place. And I'd call that about 500 yards at least. Okay, I've got a court order of uh, conditions of bail not to go within 50 yards of that place. Fine. Okay, good. Because I'm made the way I am, what comes to mind is what's it like to be in Palestine? Beethoven on, of course. In Palestine, excuse me, it helps me think, just a little smoke, I don't inhale. Believe it or not, there's light drizzle going on now. <coughs> right, now. <coughs> Where they can see their land and the grandfather is telling the grandchild that over there is our farm. And the Israelis put a huge, great big wall up. So what are my sorrows? I've now got to walk around. 50 yards around, which I can do. There's a long track in, a good hard metal road, uh, concrete and tarmac, and I go up the hill and around there, I'll get some wood on the way, and you know, that's my excuse. Plus, I miss the dog and the barking. I love my animals. Especially dogs. And especially a female, a bitch, of the same size, because that was my last little German Shepherd dog in France, Mademoiselle Eleanor. I love my dogs. My dogs were always off the lead. One bark. Why? Why did you bark? They're brutalizing that dog right from the instant it happened. Yes, I did bark at this dog to see because they've got to know who the dominant male is. But it's going vicious, feral, wild. They leave it out alone. Bark, 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 bark for ages as I walk off and wagging its poor little tail. The people in the house say it's fine. Well, probably in the house it is. <clears throat> but in its spirit, it's going wild. Poor little thing. This is why I've been upset by this. I've only been here just nearly four weeks. I meant to have upset the geezer, racial abuse, seven times before the first Saturday I was even here. I only arrived on Monday the 5th of November, for heaven's sake. This is my defence. It's rubbish. No way do I want to attack people for the colour of their skin. I mean, how absurd. I love people. I did approach them on the Saturday afternoon, 4pm or something, ring at their front gate and speak to the younger son and all the rest of it, it turns out, the mother at the window and so on and so on. No way do I want to attack them uh, for racial reasons. The man, the father, I believe he's a doctor, has got a massive chip on his shoulder about this and he's got it wrong with me. It's offensive to me. I've been out to South Africa, especially again, my, my grand, my great, great grandfather was uh, William Ross, a missionary who trained with Dr. David Livingston. <coughs> my grandfather had a hospital built. He'd ride a hundred miles on a horse to see a black patient and not charge him. His wife, the Scottish lady, my grandmother with the straight back, would, you know, say you must charge some money for the Muti, the medicine, Zulu word. Otherwise, you know, it's no good. So no way is there anything in my spirit of abuse, racial abuse. So to attack me as someone who is racially abusive is interesting. <laughs> Cheerio. Gaza Strip, this is. I can see the exit to this place. Now I'm back in England again. This man will have to justify his behavior, his lies. Here we go.